So, Imran. <laughs> Guys, we have breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news, man. Imran got his license. And I don't mean his uh, <laughs> flu license. What was it good? Vaccine. Vaccine. Is, that, is, it called, is, it, is it called a license? I don't know. A badge or something. I don't know. Vaccine. <laughs> What's that vaccine thing that you get? Vaccine, certificate or something. Certificate or whatever. <laughs> He's not going abroad. He actually got a driving license. Hey man, talk us for... First, you know what's funny, bro? He kept the driving lessons on a D, DL, bro. You might give him Nazar, bro. No, but, no, but the thing is, I've got a feeling cycle gags on his case. So he kept it on a D low. Okay. Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> hey, Bob's. So Bob's what? Out there. Bob, when did you start? When did you start your driving te- lessons? Uh, driving driving lessons. Um, when did I start? I actually took one in like December last year. Yeah. What COVID times? Yeah. Uh, no, after COVID. Well, we're still in COVID, but but I mean, lot. No wait, what mean? Yeah, that? December twenty twenty, bro. That's COVID, bro. That's. Peak pandemic, bro. One no. second, were you breaking? You no, know, no, then I took a break. I no, no, no. One second, let's just because let's just get this on thing. Were you taking driving lessons when there's supposed to be a lockdown, bro? No, no, no. Because you said December, bro. Sorry, January. Probably January. Oh no, just get it right because. Why are you trying to snitch on him, bro? <laughs> no, no. I want to make sure that because he said <laughs> December. If we smooth through it, and then I don't know some. Some government guy that watches this podcast. <laughs> they're probably, they're probably keeping an eye on us, bro. I don't know. Who knows, bro? Like, Hold on. Get get this guy's uh, driving license number. Okay, so so you started at that time? Yeah. So you driving mask on and all that madness? No, nah, no. Nah, my instructor was cool. Nah. Oh, he's safe, yeah? yeah Who, who's cool. the instructor? Do you want to shout him out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ADS. Uh, Bengali, bro. Uh, uh, Nord from Edmonton. Oh, shout out. Is he Bengali, bro? Huh? Turkish, Turkish. Turkish. Kardesh. Kardesh, mashallah. Is he is he is he relaxed like? Yeah, yeah. Bro, my first instructor no, no. was horrendous, bro. Who was your first instructor? It was some Afghan. Bro, oh, what was his name again, bro? I can't remember. Like, man. It doesn't matter. Let's not bait him up. But bro, this guy was relentless, man. What do you mean? And before I started doing lessons, yeah, I could drive. Yeah. No, no. no. Bro, 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 no. bro. I you could drive. drive, bro. I could drive, bro. But this guy, he was mad. He was angry all the time. I don't know why. He was just angry. I said, stop. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I stopped, bro. <laughs> Relax. And then, wait, two weeks down the line, he goes to me, oh, brother, you do computers? I'm like, yeah. He goes, can you fix my laptop? I was like, okay. But Is he it after, it. After, after you locked him off? No, no, no. This was before. When he was talking to me in the car. Right. Would you fix computers? I'm like, yeah. He gave he, the next lesson. He bought his computer. He said, "Oh, can you install this and that?" Can you give me free lessons though? Wait, holla at your boy. And he goes to me, "How much?" I said, "Nah, don't watch that, man. You're my you're my teacher. I'm free of charge. No problem." Yeah, bro. The next lesson, I was I must have given the price went up, and I gave him the exact amount before the price went up. Yeah, well, you didn't know. You didn't I didn't know. know. And then he goes, "Brother, you're five pounds short." I'm like, five pound? What are you talking about? He goes, oh, don't worry, keep it for the laptop. I'm like, bro, the laptop won five pound, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if we're doing the laptop thing, you owe me 60 pound, bro. Yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> yeah man. Uh, my first one uh, was uh, Boston. Who? Bo- his name is Boston. No, 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 no. Yeah, Boston. But his name is Bustan. Was actually. He Turkish? He's, he's, he's Pakistani. Oh. And bro, the car that we the car that we used to do the the test with, I don't know if you can bring this up, bro. Yeah, mm. type this. Dewu, Dewu Lenos. <laughs> no, it's not Dewu Lenos. <laughs> Dewu. Um... Oh my god. Dewu. The the compact one. Type in Dewu. Oh my god, what was it, man? Bro, that's old. What kind of car was it? Brother, it was small. It was really small. Type in compact Dewu 2000. 
Yeah. Oh, these little yeah, things. Yeah, that one. The blue one. That exact one, bruv. Click it. Imagine my six foot self in that car, bro. <laughs> you know, I could put my arm out the window and touch the, the, the bottom of the car, bro. <laughs> Bro, look at that car. Zoom in, bro. Bro, that's a madness. The exact color. <laughs> remember, I mean, was one bought one. But if you remember, bro, yeah, 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 he did, he did, he did. Bro, that bro, car's mad. One liter. But if you accelerate, about three minutes later, you, you're <laughs> <laughs> you still. <you're, laughs> but bro, honestly, you, you put your arm out. You know, my armpit would be on the thing, and I could touch the bottom <laughs> of the car, bro. Yeah, that's a small car. But he was a good, he was a good instructor. Much, he was very patient, and um, yeah. So, like, I passed, I passed with him. Which, which more hill driving center, driving. To, um, which, but look, which more hill? You know, which, you, is that where you passed your test in, man? No, nah, Tottenham. What, Tottenham? Yeah, there's a new one in Tottenham. Oh, is there a new one? Yeah. yeah? You know, which more hill? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where. That's where. I t- you know, it's funny. This is how arrogant I was, bro. Yeah. You know my dry, uh, my theory test. Mm. I didn't even pick up a book, bro. I just <laughs> walked there. Did you fell? No, I didn't walk there. What? Huh? Did you fell? I fell by one mark. <laughs> but this is before, you know, before they did the um, hazard. hazard per- yeah. Yeah. And then it, right, the next test I booked, they had to do hazard perception. So I had to proper. But I find that hazard and perception thing so dumb. Because if you click too much, you <laughs> fell as well, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it's just so dumb, the things that they give you. What do you mean? It's just it's just dumb hazards. I'm like, bro, that, that, that's like not what? Really a Give me an example. A bird crossing the road or some. <laughs> <bad bird. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they have one that dog comes in the road. Yeah, like, like bro. How yeah, you but that's important on though. A, on a dog or a bird, of course, of course. Wait, bro. That's not my fault. The dog jumped onto the but road. Listen to the test is hazard perception. <laughs> it means that can yeah, you but, spot the hazard? Bro, come on. You're driving yeah. only a. M- so you just like you know what? Let me just drive over this dog for no reason. <laughs> no, you know already. That's just common sense. Yeah, like. but that's what they're trying to figure out, isn't it? Because there's some <laughs> okay. waste men out there that they see a dog. They're like, that's not a hazard. Mm, food. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, man, how, how was the test? Yeah, alhamdulillah, I only got three minors. Oh, alhamdulillah, bro. Yeah. What were the minors, bro? Huh? What minors did you get? Uh, it's like vehicle control or something like that, and. Bro, that sounds like a major, bro. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds like a major to me, bro. Some, I don't know, some next, uh, I can't remember what they call it, um, when you're hesitant or something. Oh, oh yeah. Like when you're pulling out the road and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But if I passed my test... No, no, I, f- I did a test and I failed it. It was in 2001. I think it was about three months after September 11th. Oh, them ones. And, bro, I knew I was going to fail, bro. The guy looked at me once as like, you're not you're not passing today. Mohammed. And I'm Mohammed. pretty sure he was humming the American um <laughs> like I did September 11th. It was my fault. But yeah, and then and then uh, the woman the, the woman I, I passed the test with, yeah, yeah. Her name was Justice, her second name, Miss Justice. That was her name. <laughs> okay. I was like, you know what? Alhamdulillah, this is a sign from Allah, bro. And then I was driving slow. She goes, if you don't speed up, I'm gonna I'm gonna fail you, bro. That's what oh, she said to me. She said that to you, yeah, she said that. She goes, just relax, man, speed up. So Alhamdulillah, I passed it, man. Yeah, my instructor used to give me um, the the woman. She was uh, coughing because you know on the dual carriageway you have to uh, always keep on the left. Yeah, yeah. She was coughing. I was in the middle way in the middle lane. She was like, <coughs> <coughs> and she was doing this with her eyes. Who bro. the test guy? Woman. Yeah, yeah, the woman. The, the and then I was like, instructor. oh snap! And then I went to the thing, and then she you said, like, oh snapped her. Now like, in my brain, isn't it? okay. Something right. snapped, and then uh, she said, oh thank you for moving over. I was like, yeah, that nah, guy. <laughs> and uh, what's it called? Um, Roundabouts, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I still to this day I uh, I get a bit nervous. <laughs> no, I'm not nervous, but I keep forgetting, bro. Like, so yeah. did you get any roundabouts? Great Cambridge Road, but I've done. I did. I practiced it quite. It's a bit the time. mini ones that get you, bro. Yes. Yeah, what maneuvers ones. did they give you? Uh, right at the end, I had the reverse parking. Okay. I got parked well, in nice, the shopping center. It was a nice, oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> it was a Bengali brother. Yeah. Shalom. What the, the instructor? Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. So he was good. When my driving instructor saw him, he's like, oh, that's going to be your exam. And he's like, yeah, he's all right. Innit? Did you get in the car and say, Do you know what he did? My last manoeuvre, he went into the car park. He, he told me, wait. And he cleared like the whole car park. He told bare people to move. Other people that are coming in for the test. Okay. He told them to move out of the way. <laughs> he cleared up like a couple. Boss man. Yeah, a couple bays for me. And then I just did my thing. Oh, wow. That's good. So it was just a bay, bay parking. Yeah, reverse bay park. 
Rob, but my one, she made me do it around, like a reverse route into a road. Yeah. You know, like a mind, like, you know, when you do a. Yeah, yeah, reverse into the road. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not into the main, but like, you know, yeah, I can yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, that yeah. one. Three point turn, park in the car park, park in, in like a reverse parking. She made you do two maneuvers. Yeah, bruv. Raw. So there's only one. Yeah, it's normally only one. No, sure. she's done about, but my mum did, did about. Oh, I'm mixing, I'm mixing it up with the driving Unless he did test. two driving lesson, the, the just before. I might be mixing it up with a driving lesson just before. But anyway, congratulations, Imran. Thank you. How long you been driving for now, like with a license? <laughs> <laughs> so you're setting me up. I'm setting you up. I'm setting you up. You're so me so up. when did you get your license? One sec. When did you get your license? Uh, September, early September. September. Oh, it's been that long. September. Yeah, but I didn't get a car. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Months, yeah. So, but when did you buy your car, bro? So Imran's got a vroom vroom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in his dad's car. <laughs> but if this was 2005, 2003, yeah, he would have bought a Honda Civic with a big exhaust. <laughs> you get me? The neon lights at the bottom. But what did you get? An Aris. Toyota Aris. Bring up the car, bro. <laughs> Bring up the Toyota Aris. Man bought an accountant's car, bro. <laughs> but you know what? You don't get stopped by police with an Irish, I don't know. Because him and his area boys are going to Shisha Club, isn't it? <laughs> Jump so in the Irish, brother. Bro, I ain't got the, yeah, that's, that's the shit right there. Which one? This one. Yeah. Oh, this one there, yeah? You're going to put aloe, you're going to put tinted windows on it, bro. It came with tints. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> what about alloys? What kind of rims you got on it? No, no, it's standard. Steel, steel rims or alloys? Alloy's got standard. Alloy's. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it standard. What about what about the sound system? Does it go boom boom? No boom boom. When you put it Has there. it got Bluetooth? <laughs> no, no Bluetooth. Uh, no Bluetooth? No. Nah. He's got, got Nah, he's got Bluetooth, bro. Nah, he ain't got Bluetooth. You gotta get that uh, radio frequency Bluetooth. Nah, thing, nah, bro. he's got Bluetooth, bro. Don't nah, even try it, bro. Twenty twelve, bro. Twenty twelve. Yeah, 2012 so just, like, it's cold, man. Bro, how you not have Bluetooth? That's like standard. Got the AUX cable. <laughs> oh man, man's moving like it's 2003, bro. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So yeah, so you had your car for how long? Two weeks. Two weeks. Man's already got a ticket. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> me out. What is going on, Imran? He came in and he was uh, not happy, bro. I came in today, he's not happy. But you oh. got caught out by those, the new restrictions, yeah. innit? Yeah. But he came in gutted, bro. He's like, hey, bro, let me you. ask you a That's question. Like, <laughs> I've never seen that before. In my, in my no, because you, you've been that. cycling through those those roads, isn't it? That's probably where it is. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And just to snitch on, um, what's your what's your cycling club called again? Bob's? Yeah. You know, I know you ride for a few months. Yeah. Hey. Shout, shout out your cycling clubs, bro. Because I'm going to clip this. Just two, just two. Go on. El Iman Cycle Club. El Iman Cycle Club. Brothers on bike. And brothers on bike. Jeez. Are they are they affiliates? What do you mean? Are they rivals or are they affiliates? No, 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 no. Affiliates, yeah? yeah so. Uh kind of. Do they know each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just to shout like Al Iman Cycle Club and Brothers on Bikes. He sneaked you still. He's been he used to cycle to the gym <laughs> and now he's driving to the gym, bro. No, I said you're, when you're the lost. weather gets better, inshallah. No, 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 no. Listen. You used to cycle in the rain. Do you remember that? Well, I've done too many winters. I've done so too what, bro? Many. You're sounding like you're like Tony Stark, not Tony Stark, <laughs> John Snow, bro. I've done too many winters. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think the, the the issue here is, look, when you get married, that's another thing as well. So you can be like, you know what? I can't cycle to whatever you cycle to. What do you cycle to? Paris or whatever it is. It's going to be less and less, isn't it? Less and less cycling. And then it's going to be, do you remember that guy, Imran? Yeah. He used to cycle with us. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> They've already started that. But yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> and then they're going to stop inviting him, inviting him to trips and that. Uh, I already get that. But to be honest, you know, it's training in Legion that's just like... Is it? Don't blame Legion, bro. <laughs> listen, you know these... This, <laughs> listen, guys, listen. Honestly, <laughs> he's just making excuses, bro. I'm telling you this now. Well, anyway, I won't tell you what he said about you guys off camera, bro. <laughs> No, I'm joking, bro. He loves you guys. He won't stop talking about you guys, man. But yeah, so you better pay that ticket off quick, man. But you know that time we went to Danny's wedding? Yeah. And we I, and I was charging the car. Yeah. You know they gave me a ticket, bro? No way. Yeah, oh, bro. Parked too long. It was just under an hour. 
this is up to an hour, and they've got the time in between this time and this time, and they gave me a ticket. But you yeah. was there for under an hour. Yeah. Yeah, they, they gave me that at McDonald's, man. Did you pay it? No. How much? How much I'm is paying that? It. Huh? How much was it? About thirty. But, I, but I'm not paying it. I, I had one. You know, Whitechapel. You know, um, Shell Station in Whitechapel. Yeah. Just opposite the Masjid. Yeah. You know which one? You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? So. Yeah, man, shell recharge opposite yeah, the mosque. Yeah, bro, I parked the same. They, they gave me a ticket, bro. Yeah, they, they, I, think, I don't think they can actually um, pursue the ticket. You know that? Who knows, man? Any lawyers out there? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let man. us know. Sorry, <laughs> um, <laughs> man. Yeah, my voice is gone, bro. Today, man. So yeah, you got a, uh, you got a ticket. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome. the world of, bro. It's a tax, bro. <laughs> I understand the speeding tickets, yeah? Yeah. But you know these little rubbish ones, yeah, bruv? Yeah, like, yeah. they've closed... By the way, just so you guys, if you don't live in Hackney or, like, what, controlled parking... What, yeah. what, what are they called, bruv? Controlled traffic zones or whatever. Something like that, So yeah. Imran drove through a road, which was normally... Yeah. It's normally open, right? Yeah, and they've closed it because of the controlled parking zones. Uh, no, they don't even close it. They just put, like, two... Two plants in plants there, bruv. In yeah, 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 yeah. And they've got the... Yeah, so... Anyway, just take that L and try not to... Lesson learned. Yeah, lesson learned, bruv. So, yeah, like this weekend, um, we went to... We just, like, today's Sunday, the 20-something. So, you're probably be watching this on a Friday. But uh, we went to the Grappling Industries um, uh, Jiu-Jitsu competition. So, I took uh, my kids and a lot of the kids from Legion as well. So shout out to Coach Shamu, Ibrahim and Abdurrahman for preparing my kids and coaching them very much. Like followed, they had a really good game plan. And first competition for my ones. Um, yeah, they did well, man. They did really, really well. Mm. <clears throat> um, came, f- came third. I think overall yes. as an academy, we came third out of, it was about 40 or something. Mm. So it was not bad for Guy. And Nogi, we came second, which is good. Considering, I think there's only like, I think, I think maybe ten entries from our side. Probably and less, man. No, nah, ten. It's about ten. About ten. Probably. From kids, yeah, little kids. Yeah. Maybe under ten, maybe nine, something like that. But up, yeah. max ten. They did really well, man. For you see their character come out <laughs> on the mat, bro. <laughs> Especially, it, especially from Gi to Nogi. Yeah. You know, on the drive home when you told him, ah, oh, you should have did this and yeah. you did better at this. And then on the Gi, when you show me the videos, bro, they were kind of ham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were proper attacking, mashallah, man. But the, the, I think what did highlight was the use of wrestling was so important. And a lot of the kids didn't have wrestling. But for our, for our ones, I think we need to, obviously, because they have been training as long as these guys, in it. So yeah. I, 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 not training, I would say, Competing. Some kids, bruv, they're competing every other week, bruv. Yeah. Or twice a month, maybe twice. So this is their first one. I think I think it was their nerves, man. Mm. I can see yeah. what they need to work on, though. Yeah, 100%. Now, nah, they were complaining of chest pains as well, bro. I was like, bro, it's because you're nervous. Yeah, and nervous. You've been, you've been tensing. Yeah. I had to massage them today, bruv. I told them, go jump in the shower. <laughs> got the massage going out. Massage, crack their backs, no crack way. their necks. Yeah. <laughs> I done a proper... Yeah, so I just let them you know, Miyagi do. You know, turn on the heating at home. For adults, it's difficult to switch on from wrestling mode to jiu-jitsu mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you see them, they were always going on their belly. like. Yeah, they were turning on their front, yeah, right? Turning. Yeah. These kids that do jiu-jitsu, they know, you see a back, you take the back. Yeah. Okay. But also, flip side was, because they didn't have anything for takedowns, they couldn't... Like, the first fight is the takedown. Do you get me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. when they say go, you have to take them down first before yeah. there's any ground fighting, right? So a lot of them were pulling guard and some of them tried to do some, it was like some, like, you know they didn't work, really work takedowns, in it? But with the kids, it was like, I don't want to give away the game plan because in case we use it again. <laughs> but we had a game plan, we stuck to it, in it. And um, the only time I would say they, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm making it out like it's like UFC like main event For them bro. it probably was bro but, yeah but like um obviously you know you know the thing is especially with the kids any competitor in it bro like if you have a game plan you've got one route of going and then you just react to whatever your opponent's doing i think a lot of them was asking me oh what if he what if 
they do this and what if they do this and what if I'm like, look, mm. if you sit there thinking about every possibility that they might they might do, you're gonna be in trouble, man. So, mm. so um, having a game like when, when I say game plan, more of like you know what, do this, then this, then this. And then if they do this, do this. And then that's it. And then the rest is that they were just reacting to it. But yeah, really proud of them, man. And I think I think one of them, I don't want to, like, obviously I don't really like um, blowing them up on the podcast here, but uh, one of them, they they lost the match. I think his last match he lost. And so the guy took him down, which I was not happy about. But anyway, it's fine. <laughs> he was heavier than him, yeah. So I thought, you know, I love you. And he winded him, innit? Oh, and there was one of those uh, Karate Kid moments, bro. You must not give in to fear, Daniel San. <laughs> <laughs> you must not. It's okay to lose, but don't give in to fear, in it. So he was on the floor. He had, his, he had blood in his teeth and everything, bro. <laughs> no way. Because yeah. the guy, he went for a um, rear naked choke, but he was doing it over the mouth, bro. Right? You know how you, you pass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how like you keep swi- switching to yeah, get yeah, the. Yeah, so he's squeezing his mouth. his mouth and had blood in his mouth. So. The rest looking at me, I go, bro, don't stop it, man. Let him, let him share. And they're asking him, oh, do you want to continue? I was like, bro, you get up and you finish the fight. I don't care if it's 15 nil. I don't give a damn. You finish it, innit? So he's looking at me, yeah? Finish <laughs> him. And I was like, no, you must finish. Yeah. Fear does not exist. <laughs> exactly. Well, bro, it was a karate kid moment, bro. And, um, and then he got up and bro, I saw his face. I was like, yeah, that's it. I said, look. And then he just went for takedown after takedown after. Face, after I saw it in his face. Yeah. He didn't get any points because as he took him down, <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. He uh, ju- like he it. fell into God all yeah. the time. That's the that's the thing. That's another thing. They need to focus on <coughs> doubles. Follow it up. The thing with doubles, bro. Um, that's why I prefer <laughs> the single leg in jiu-jitsu, bro, with the head on the inside. Mm. So you know, push snap single, control it with the head on the inside, and a wrap double. So catch the double leg on the outside. So then you land, you kind of land with their, you kind of got their legs like this wrapped. Yeah. So the legs are kind of straight like this yeah. and you've wrapped them like that. In other cases about climbing to the side control. Yeah. But if you get a double, what happens is they kind of, they either sprawl out on you. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then all like they fall backwards and then they get you in guard. Mm. Does that make sense? So that was that. And then another thing which is dangerous, some kids got good triangles, yeah? Mm. They fall into their guard and their neck's kind of like exposed, isn't it? Yeah, but what I didn't understand, yeah, some of the refs, bruv. Terrible, man. Yeah, man, like the, the arm bar wasn't even there. Yeah, you know I know what? they stop it in before. Their de- in their defense, yeah? Yeah, in but their defense. some of them allowed it and some of them didn't. I'm like, bro. In their defense, like, in their defense to the ref, yeah? Bruv, it's, it's a hard job, bruv. Yeah, but still, man. Be, and it's be, not like you're not sitting persistent. in a booth like watching it on a video. It's live, innit? Yeah. Do you get me? And there's a lot to look out for because remember, there's like, there was nine, nine mats, so this kind of like, if you're in the middle, you've got one guy fighting on the right side, one guy fighting on the left side. What, does that make sense? There's a few yeah. matches going on. There's a, bro, do you remember, I don't know if you saw it, there was some, some guys fighting on the, on the right, I think mat nine or something. Oh no, mat one. Mat two, there were some kids. Bro, the guy yeah, t- yeah, bro, yeah, almost yeah. squashed the kids, yeah, but yeah, almost killed them, bro. Yeah, no yeah. way. Yeah. It was Seriously? crazy, yeah, yeah. Adults fighting at the same time as kids. Yeah, yeah, I think it was that time they were kind of switching to adults and that was the last fight on that yeah, mat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that wasn't weight. That was uh, all weights, innit? That it was, was absolute, uh, yeah. bro. It was, I think it was absolute. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, yeah. In the day. Look, let me tell you something, yeah. Shout out to Grappling Industries, bro. Like, that was a really well-organized yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Very smooth. competition. Very smooth. I've got to admit. Com- that's, that smooth comp. That, yeah. that, that software they yeah, got, software. live live brackets. Mm. Even on time, bro. On time. I mean, there was like, obviously, there's always discrepancies, but... They were on time. The staff were really, you know, what's the word? Uh, welcoming and the only thing I think they can improve on is the girls fighting boys thing, bro. Yeah, but bro, I don't find it fair, man. No, you know what it is. It's not even that, bro. I think I think there's not enough girls fighting, bro. And like, if you look at the whole competition, there must have been I don't know how many. Yeah, but where does that stop? What do you mean? Where does that? Where does the? Where does? Where's the cap? Oh, you mean like the age? Yeah. Where does that? Where do they cap it off? I think. I think when you hit teens, bro, mm. it starts to get dicey, bro. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, seriously, bro. It gets dicey when you hit the teens. It's like, I think when they're like 10, 11, mm. like maybe like nine, eight, nine. You know, under that, that's okay. So mix them up. When they, when they, because like some thirteen year olds are wham, bro. Like thirteen year old. Yeah, even twelve, bro. Twelve. 
I don't know, man. Depends on the kid, doesn't it, man? I mean, one of the kids had to forfeit, bro, because he was fight- the thirteen-year-old fighting a ten-year-old. I mean, a girl. <laughs> It's, but as an as an organizer, bro, it's so hard, man, because some kids don't turn up. And mm. imagine you've come all the way to a competition, the the girl that you're gonna fight doesn't turn up. It's hard, man. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, for us, for religious reasons, we don't really, um, especially when you hit puberty age. Do you get me? Yeah. There's that religious element to it. If you don't have that, then do you get me? Like difficult, man. Yeah, so, but yeah, really proud of them. And also the adults, man, K4, for, for the, I think this is second Khalid Ismail. Okay, as in Khalid Ismail. I think he, he was the only one from his academy that fought yesterday, yeah, right? Yeah. Had a uh, full absolute open weight. Did quite well in that as well. Yeah. Um, And I think he fought his division. But there was only one, it was like best of three or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Again, like there wasn't enough in his weight category. <clears throat> What do you think is the most popular? Um, it's Nogi, bro. Nogi was popular, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Today, Probably, there were some yeah. heavy hitters there. Ross what do you Nichols think, man? Was I think it's fun, isn't it? It's a lot more faster. Faster. It's the, it's the, to be honest with you, it's like the the modern game. It's like when people try to use their wrestling, basically, more. No, I think, I think Gi is traditional. Yeah. Nogi is, everyone's going to Nogi, you know, because it's, it's the modern game, bro. Mm. Jiu-Jitsu is all is about, you know, evolving, isn't it? There's a, there is one thing though, like as a wrestler, if you've got good takedowns and stuff, uh, with Nogi, you, you do well. But now with the foot footlock game, mm. that's kind of leveled leveled the playing field because you can you don't have to stand with them, innit? You can just sit down yeah. and just fight the legs. So that's I would say foot. It's almost like anti wrestling, bro, isn't it? A little yeah. bit that footlock game, and you can always tell a footlock guy, bro. Skinny, like not athletic, bruv. Like, yeah. because they don't need to think. I mean, I'm being very stereotypical, yeah? But um, I think foot locks, bruv, and the leg locks and, you know, the 50-50, all that stuff, that, as a wrestler, is, it, that's the challenge, is how do you, if someone's going to sit down, there's no takedowns, in it? Yeah. So they, they've they negated that kind of... Uh, so they again, scare me, man. Huh? Footlocks and, and, and they scare me, bro. Like, hey man, you were saying there was a few injuries yeah, today, innit? Today, yeah. So what, what kind of injuries? Some heel hook injuries. What, hold. like complete separation or? Uh, nah, you can see they got, it got pulled, the heel hook. Okay, yeah. Tap, tap quick, time. boy. Yeah, the toe hold. He had a chance to tap, he didn't tap and it got, got broken clean. So mm. he was uh, wheeled out in a wheelchair, sent to hospital, man. Not worth it. There was a yesterday. There was a dislocate. I think Gee, there's less injuries. I think with Gee, it's more like your yeah, fingers. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. fingers yeah, getting fingers, caught yeah. and stuff like that. But no Gee, bro. I'm like my 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 heart's in my throat, bro. Yeah. Happened to me in it on my dish on my no Gee. Yeah, your gee. finger. Gee. Yeah. 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 Would you prefer Gee or no Gee? Honestly. Gee, uh, no Gee, man. You prefer no Gee, yeah. 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 Cycling. Like gi is like it can be fun as well. It can be fun as well, but the thing with game comp, like sometimes you might get stuck in a position for yeah, that's fun. It's too slow. There's no give in it, yeah. like, and also it's unforgiving as well. Gi, you get caught in a position, like you make a mistake, boy, <laughs> because of the. But yeah, so there was that. There was the, the injuries. I think I was speaking to Amir on the phone yesterday, and he goes, "I hate competitions, bro." He's to me, I can't stand competition because of the injuries. Oh, yeah, yeah. He goes, I'm just anxiety. He goes, the whole time I'm just anxious. Yeah. Especially when it's your own kids, man. Yeah, especially when it's the, you know, like his guys and stuff. Yeah, he goes, even, he goes, even other competitors as well. Yeah. I think there was someone popped his shoulder or something. Yeah, it was yesterday, I think. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. I think Rashid had to go to a kid today as well. Yeah, it's just, oh, the guy should have tapped. I mean, not, not I said the referee should have stopped it earlier. Because mm. I think it was a, uh, was it Americana? It just slightly twinged the, the shoulder a little bit. You look really hurt, man. Yeah. But he was all right afterwards. He was uh, running around and stuff. Afterwards. He lost to him the day before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Imagine that. Yeah, there was a, there was a, there was, there some, was a uh, rivalry there, there bro. Was, there, there they was lost some, him uh, in Account gear. settled today, bro. <laughs> yeah. They lost in gear. Like even our ones, like there was yeah, a couple yeah, of yeah. Uh, which was good. <coughs> but what I really liked was, um, especially shout out to New Wave, New Wave Academy. Um, doesn't see this teach wrestling there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New Wave. Yeah, yeah. Are they in Croydon, bro? I think so. Yes. Yeah, so. Bro, you know what? I was really impressed by the coaches. Super respectful, man. Very respectful, bro. Very nice. The parents. Look, if I can clip this and send it out to them on Instagram, we should do that, bro. So shout out to New Ever Academy. Like, really um, enjoyed. I mean, good good level as well, man. Mm. The kids. Yeah, yeah, they were good. Very good level. They won, they won the, yeah. the overall academy yeah. for kids as well, right? Who's head coach there? I don't know, man. Good point. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, really, really good respect. The kids were really respectful as well. It's like I really enjoyed it. The, um, the sportsmanship, you know, always the coaches always came over, shake, shook yeah. their hands, even when they they lost and won or whatever. So that was good, man. Well, yeah, very tiring though, man. It, it almost feels like you're you're there with them as well. Yeah, and you don't really want to push them too much. As like I think what I said to the kids was. Like winning or losing, it's not. It's just how you perform, isn't it? If you go out there, you make a mistake, you get caught. It is what it is, isn't it? But if you go, then you're shook, or like you don't try and. What's the word, man? You give in to your fear, your own yeah. fear. Not forget the person, your own fear, and you're like, oh my god, he's like, he's better than me. You limit yourself. Yeah, you limit. That's something that you have to work on. Yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to everyone at Legion and Hardest Mark. I think there's they're competing again next week. In the English, English Open, right? Yeah. Same place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Docklands is nice go- <laughs> for a change. I know wrestling comp- comps, bro. We always have to go up north for that, and that sometimes gets a bit. It's long, bro. Traveling yeah. all the way to Wolverhampton, bro. Yeah. Imagine you've already like done about five matches and on wrestling the comps. You're there the whole day, bro. <laughs> yeah, wrestling comps. You're there the whole day, bro. You're there the whole day. So yeah, shout out to. Uh, Grappling Industries for a really well organized and uh, yeah, well organized competition. Yeah, so that's that. I think the next thing is that I've been wa- keeping an eye on is the um, crickets moving mad, bro. <laughs> yeah, crickets moving mad. You know what's funny? Like, uh, what, what was the guy's name? Uh, Rafiq. Rafiq Azim. Rafiq Azim. So I don't. Know, have you guys watched the the deposition that? Or what do we call it from the select committee? You know the his his account of what's been going on. Have you heard anything? No. You haven't listened to anything. No, I saw bits of it briefly. Do you watch cricket? No, I don't. Come on, hey, don't lie, bro. Don't, hey, man, don't, honestly, don't try. Yeah. No, no, but honestly, don't, man. Not all Asian people watch cricket. Yeah, yeah, but but do your dad watches it though? Not like doesn't follow it. No, when Bangladesh is on, he might watch it. Yeah. Oh, so he does not even on it like that. No. What about your brothers? No. None of them. No, no. That's strange. I guess Rashid don't even watch cricket either, bro. But you don't watch nothing. Do you watch cricket? It's only the East London guys, isn't it? They... I will watch cricket to put yeah. me to sleep. No, but you don't lie, bro. You you went with Baiji to a cricket match, didn't you, bro? Nah, man. You lost <laughs> it, bro. I only gone to no cricket match. You bro. said you were going to go with him to a cricket match or something. Nah, nah, nah. There nah, was a nah, nah. there was a period Maybe, that you were watching cricket, Zach. Don't even try it. There was, there was. If I'm at the gym and someone's going on, I'm watching. Yeah, but you were just gassing, bro. I'm a, you and him, you and, you and Shamu, bro. <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, you were gassing. Nah, yeah, Sham, I'm a Sham fan of cricket, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah nah. Shamu's I'm not a fan. That. I'm not a fan, but do you know what I mean? I just can't wrap my head around it, bro. So, I'm going to read the headline. Azim Rafiq, Cricket's Racism Scandal Forces Society to Confront Its Issues. Do you know what? Every black and brown person <laughs> in the UK and in the world saw this and thought, we never ever thought, like, everyone's been through it, bro. You know the stuff that they said to him, though? That was mad. What did they say? Bro, listen to this. 15 years old, yeah? Oh, when he was 15? Listen to this. This starts when he's 15, yeah? Oh, okay. 15. I, I need to ask myself a few questions, yeah. Like, because I, I remember... Anyway, let me rephrase this, yeah. 15 years old, yeah. They, t- they His teammates, I think his teammates, or... Um, they held him down and poured wine into his mouth, what? bro. No way. You bro, know what that is? No Google way. it. That's a white man thing. Yeah, yeah. 
No Do you know what Come I mean? on, mate. Yeah, let's yeah. have all have it a laugh. It's only a little shit, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? Bruv, Bro, they that's poured... madness. That's the... F- for me, if my son went through that, bruv, you're all getting bodied, bruv. <laughs> Every- bro. I'm going there. I'm sparking everyone, bro. bro. <laughs> Timothy, Robin. Everyone. Alexandra. <laughs> everyone. All of them, man. Bruv, pull up, bruv, pull up this video. Go on YouTube. Go on YouTube. Bro, you dumb cuss. Go on YouTube. Pull up this video. Bruv. I'm murking all of them. Yeah, Everyone's that's, that's... getting murked. With my day, Wu Lanos. Bruv, bruv, and I'm driving into that cricket, Yorkshire cricket <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, oh, um, bruv, I'm sorry, bro. Type in that barbecue slap guy. Guy slaps everyone at a barbecue. Oh, oh yes, classic. Classic. That, type that in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, play that, play that, bro. Play that. You, come here. Let me, let me commentate through this, yeah? <laughs> Oh my god! Look at his shoulders, though. That's me. That's how I'd walk in as well, bro. Like Conor McGregor, bro. I walk in there. What's going on? It's mine, Daddy. No one keeps taking away from me. No one. They pulled wine down my throat. Noah, give it back. No. I said give it back now. Noah. That's it. He's getting one. He's getting one. <laughs> Bruv, the cricket board's <laughs> getting one. The referee's getting one. The guy in the back's getting one. All the kids are getting one. Bruv, everyone's getting a slap, bro. Everyone. The, 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 the uh, guy works in the car park. He's getting one, bro. <laughs> what, well, the kick guy? Hey, you're getting one as well, bro. Why do you stop them? You, police getting one. Everyone's getting one, bro. I'm telling <laughs> Everyone in cricket is getting one of them. No, the Bob, the cat's getting one, bro. There you go. Oh my god! That if if that happened to my kid, everyone's oh my getting god. slapped, bro. <coughs> oh my days! Do you see what I'm saying, bro? But you know what? And I'll be like, bun cricket as well. <laughs> bun cricket. And bro, there's another one as well, bro. Oh man, there was some bad ones, bro. There, there, this guy. One of the, but imagine this happening, bro. He called his dog Kevin because he was black. Who's Kevin though? They call all black guys Kevin. Do you understand? There was this like thing that was like in, in joke. Mm. And they thought it was funny. Well, I think, I think it's a, it's a big, um... but the thing is, it's like, you know, when you hear these things, yeah? Mm. Like, how, and, 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 and you know what's funny? The worst place to have racism, n- racism is never okay. But in sport, yeah, what's the point? You're trying to get the best players. I, I swear they're in makes, your team though. They're in your team as well, bruv. I think they thought they were having a laugh. I think that's what they thought. They thought, I'm so, I'm oh, sorry, I'm so comfortable with this guy. I'm going to call him a... Nah, bruv. Nah, a, but... You, a this and that. No, nah, but Zach, bro. Like, you know when you're mine up, bruv, let me tell you something, yeah? Have, have you, you worked not, in construction? Yeah, bro. That is the worst place yeah, to be, bro. Yeah. If you're Muslim or any any brown, green, or if you're there in construction, bro, you hear the most nastiest of nasties, bro. But what I'm saying to you is this, yeah. If you say those things and you weigh them in, you're the you're the bad guy, bro. Yeah. Now this this guy apparently I don't but I don't watch cricket and probably guys who who watch cricket are screaming at the the screen. I don't know how good he is. I heard he's really good. Why are you treating him like that for, bro? His wife had a miscarriage. Mine's balling, bro. On on the thing, bro. His wife had a miscarriage. Yeah, look at his eyes, bro. He's all red, bro. Bro, um, he was talking about um, how he's going to bury his son, the, the Janaza, bro. The next day. I think he missed training or something like that. And his coach just rinsed him, bruv. Like, imagine losing your kid, bro. Do you understand? Like, the kid, uh, I think he was born with uh, no heartbeat or whatever. Like. So the guy's distraught. Uh, Do you know what I mean? He's distraught. So many things. I'm sure there's a lot of things I haven't heard, yeah? But, and you know what's funny? I, you know for a fact, yeah, that this is not... First time. No, this is not an isolated case. This happens across... This is professional cricket. Can you imagine, like... I remember now, um, football, bro. Yeah. Bro, the stuff you'd hear from the coach, bro. Mm. You black this. Bro, are you here with, as a kid? Imagine hearing that, bro. Mm. Or, like, being talked about, like, yeah, he's black, he can run fast, isn't it? Yeah, put him on the... Oh, he's a big, 
strong black guy or big strong uh, Asian P word this and bruv it was normal bruv mm. and I remember thinking as a kid I remember I went to a, a, a trial I'm not going to say which club it was yeah and then <clears throat> I came back I was like nah bruv I ain't playing football bruv that's long look at me yeah I beg them to try and do that to that gay guy what gay guy do do call someone are oh, you gay this and gay that what now they'll innit? get demolished bro yeah it's, it's not happening bro but I bet this case is not even but also you, you know it's, it's, you, know, you know what like you know what is there's the racism part of it but then there's the cover up afterwards bro because what's happened what he's saying is he, he, he's legit bro because he, what he's saying is like, look I don't want to I don't want people I don't want them to concentrate on the the individual because what they're gonna they want to like people to fall on their swords in it so yeah. he's like i don't want to mention names and stuff yeah but he goes this is a this is an institutional thing bro he goes the english cricket yorkshire cricket needs to take it's like an in, this this they allowed this to happen in it mm. do you see what i'm saying bro so like when i saw the headlines yeah i was like bro that's standard bro and man's are like outraged and whatnot and i'm like yeah, bro. If you're a person of color in this country, like, how many times? In, honestly, honestly, when you're a kid going out, has, like you're having a nice time, or and then someone calls your mama packy, bro, or something. Yeah. Sorry, pardon my French, bro, but real talk. Yeah. Or you dirty Muslim, bro. Your whole day's gone, bro. Yeah. You can't ignore that, bro. Do you, 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 you internalize that, bro. Do you remember we had that that problem at the beach? They picked on the wrong guys, bro. <laughs> They picked on the, the wrong, wrong guys. people, bro. So basically, and, and I remember, I remember like going out as a family, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I, I remember having that anxiety, bro, of going out. Yeah. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you're going out with your, especially with your pe your mum. Because yeah. your mum's vulnerable, isn't it? Like with, with your, like, your mum or your sisters or whatever, they're wearing hijab, yeah? And they're a target, bro. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? So... Like you, you as a as a man or a boy, yeah. Like when you're with your mom, you feel like that kind of thing that you got to protect your sisters, you got to protect your mom and that. So you hear something, and you can't do nothing about it. You're gonna feel so wet, bruv. And you, you, does that make sense, bruv? Mm. Um, but I remember one time, like we went to the beach, bruv. It was like bare of us, bruv. So <clears throat> I don't think I was there, Zach. You know? Are oh, you were there, man? Was I there? Yeah, yeah, you were there. And some, 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 some guy. But you told us so because I, I wasn't there. I, Basically, I we were sitting. We were the men were sitting on the on the, on the rocks just doing the little barbecue thing, and then the girls they were swimming, all with hijab and everything. They were swimming, yeah. And then the guy went past us and went directly to them, and then. As soon as, as soon as my dad and my uncle saw them going towards the, the females, but they got up and they started running towards him. And the guy was shocked. Like, he didn't know we were with them or something, yeah? Oh. And he was shocked and he was he went back. He's like, no, I'm just telling them that you that you can't do that. And can't do what, blood? Talking about, bruv. He goes, you know oh, what? I, I live what? there. He literally lives right there. He goes, oh, you can't, you can't put your tents up like that and all this. Uh, bruv, why don't you come to me and say that? Why are you telling people that are swimming? <laughs> what? Do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah. And that's the thing about racists, bro. They're cowards, bro. Bro, he literally bypassed us and went straight to the females. Do you see what I'm saying? I'll give you an and example. He, he went there with aggro as well. It's like barking, bro. But as soon as the man them just ran up to him, yeah, he... Meow. But also, let's, let's see these guys that are calling him a P-word or whatever. And, and this. Imagine a white guy born in Pakistan, mm. yeah? And place for the Pakistani national team, bro. Go and try and call them. See <laughs> what they do to you, bro. <laughs> no, that's like flip it, flip it, yeah. Like, or if you're in a room, a white guy or whatever, and you, you think that you're you're in a room full of people, like, bro, you know, come with that same energy, innit? But it's when they when they this this is the thing what he's saying. He they felt comfortable that they can say those things, bro. That's that's the thing, bro. The environment. Was breeding and football, bro. I don't know what it's like now, bro. No, it's the same. But cricket, cricket again. It's a, I swear, it's cricket, like, cricket it's a came from there, sport, bro. It's a middle class sport. Yeah, but cricket came from there. Have you seen Lagan, bro? 
No, I didn't care. No, they, no I swear no, it came no, from there, no, bro. No, no, the British created cricket and then they took it. That's the thing. The British oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They did, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. the, the British <laughs> mixed. <laughs> no. Have you seen Lagan? <laughs> Lagan, that's, that's one of... There's, there's, two, there's two movies that I've watched that are Indian, yeah? Actually, three. There's Kabi Kushi the Kabi Kam, which I watched about <laughs> an hour and I was like, you know, this is too much, bro. Bro, it's, so you know it's bad when it got This when I was 16. <laughs> Yeah, and then and then it Intuition. was. I watched Lagan, which I enjoyed, and there was another one, a wrestling one. Oh, and if you, have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got those Amir two. Khan. Yeah, that was oh, a good one. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen that one. Yeah, that's a good film. Um, but why are they so long, bro? That's just, bro. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure. The storyline could be done in half no, an hour. You got, no, it's because <laughs> of the songs. No, it's because if you took all the yeah, songs the song, out, yeah. there'll be a standard standard. Uh, they hey. The <laughs> Indian public demands a song, bro. <laughs> Have you seen the one yet? Yeah, the one. The, there's a scene, bro. <laughs> bro, there's a scene. There's too many scenes. The woman's bro. the the daughter-in-law is chatting to the mother-in-law, and then the mother-in-law kind of budged her out of the way, and then it went slow mo. She fell over into a suitcase. <laughs> no. And then the suitcase, they didn't know she fell into the suitcase. They didn't know. Yeah, apparently. I think it was some madness. I'll, I'll show you the video later. And then they delivered her to some next country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, like, bro, if that's not Indian. You know, you know what cracks me up, If that's bro. not Indian movie, bro, I don't know what it is. This is, this is what I want to understand, yeah? So as an Indian movie goer, yeah? Oh, You're watching a film. It's a, there's a story in this film, yeah? <laughs> and then the music starts. And then it's, are you taking, are you like forgetting, you know that music bit, yeah? Are you just kind of like ignoring that bit? <laughs> You're listening to it as a tune and then it goes back to the story? Bro, I don't know. Or are the char- do the characters know they're singing? Bro? What, how did you, have you worked that in? Does that make sense, bro? Bro. Do you get me? There's another scene. Well. Huh? There's another scene, bro. The woman gets pushed and then there's some drapes and she's falling over to the drapes, yeah? And she holds the drapes and then her hand goes like this or whatnot. And then she's, tra- <laughs> she's getting strangled. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? You know why, bro? You know why? Just take it off. <laughs> no, because the, it's, it's the writers. It's not the actress, bro. The what? actress probably said, Come on, man. so you want me to do what? <laughs> so, so I just want to, the script, you want me to fall on the curtain. <laughs> bro, like. And then the guy goes, just make it happen. Make the curtain strangle you. Take artistic license. Bro, it's so So I like this or this way? Listen, oh, man. we have a very low budget. So <laughs> just make it strangle. But, but I think they have How high was budget. my motivation? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, just, and, and then this is, what's my motivation? Actually, then, then, he bu- then he busts one of these ones. What, she goes, what's my motivation? He goes, ah, <laughs> say I no get. more. <laughs> Strangling with the curtain it is. <laughs> Thank you, Pooja. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, but yeah, man. like, I, I, I never got it, bro. I never got like, okay, so like, the thing's happening. The tune comes in. How does that fit in with the... Do the characters understand they're in a the tune? Who knows? Who knows? God knows, bro. And they all dance and sing. Bro, there's the mad, there's mad movies and then, and then, bro, People getting stabbed Delhi. with bananas. Like, bro. Did you mean stabbed with bananas, Do, do you bro? see that one? I think it was a Sri Lankan movie. The guy got stabbed with a banana. And he died. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, Zach, please. One. Go to YouTube. Type in Ugand- Ugandan. <laughs> what did he say? No, no, no. Ugandan Kung Fu Monk film. Are you sure? Ugandan Kung Fu Monk film. Bruh, just type. I just saw it over there at the trailer. <laughs> A black Japanese. See, I told you. Bro, wait, wait, wait. Just wait. play, just play the thing. Don't say nothing, bro. Just play the thing. It gets worse. What was that? <laughs> bro. Bro, it's mad moves though, bro. Bro, you see that clip up? This is a proper show. Wait. Human uppercut. 
Himla. Himla. <laughs> Look, I told you he's got a white face. Oi. 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 I just rag. Yo. <laughs> Cheeky, uh, hey, that's my car, bro. <laughs> bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, what's what going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back, bro. Tell me what the, tell me what the plot is, bro. Javani. <laughs> <laughs> come tell bro 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 how did you come across this bro wallahi i have no idea bro <laughs> my guy chat to me man <laughs> I, I, I can't even bring, begin to break down this thing there's white face oh, in there That's a there's a, a a light-skinned hitler <laughs> <laughs> what else, bro? Nigerians there's, that are Japanese. <laughs> there's Nazis in it. There, it's mad, bro. It's there's there's everything. Do you know what it is, bro? Like with especially African films, yeah, like Lollywood. But less, more is more, bro. Mm. If you can put things in, just put it in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my African friends, bro. Walk well with that wig to Lollywood and walk well with that blonde wig, though. It's, bro. You got us talking about it, bro. And that car they were carrying. That's a coffin. But it's tiny as well. It, I don't know, man. That's a man. The internet has won again, bro. Oh, oh but, man. I don't know if it's that Ugandan one. But, bro, With bro. the fake helicopters. Have you seen that one? Yeah, I, see, I saw that, that one. That was so bad, bro. But, but wait, wait, wait. You know, America's not too far. You Have mean? you seen Fast and Furious? Yeah, it's ridiculous. But it's bro. basically the same yeah, as these but guys. But they've got a bigger budget. That's the only difference, bro. Vin Diesel, I want you to get in the car and jump off the cliff, jump through the helicopter and catch the bullet with your toes. But also, say though, no more. Stop doing things with cars. Like, <laughs> like everything, not everything has to be done by car, like with cars. They have to like, okay, we're going to make Fast Furious 15, yeah? <laughs> like, let's do underwater chasing. <laughs> and then let's say family. It's all about family 15 times, bro. Bro. Bro, I'm done, man. Anyway, but yeah, that that caught my eye the other day, bro. <sighs> Lord. So, um, this is another thing, wild, bro. But the Kyle Rittenhouse story, man. Yeah. Now I don't know exactly what he did, so just let, can we just read out what what exactly happened, bro? So the okay, uh, Mr. Rittenhouse had travelled to the city from his home in Illinois, armed with a semi-automatic rifle. He was this he in Chicago, bro? Chicago, I don't know. I don't know. To help protect property from unrest. During the trial, Joseph, blah, blah, blah. So reacted to people attacking him. Armed to the teeth with automatic rifles. Yeah. He was trying to help his community and reacted to people attacking him. I don't, bruv, if it was someone else? Uh, the question here is, if this kid was black and he w he wouldn't have made it to the shop, bro. But bro, anyway, it's like the laws are not made for people of color, bro. Mm -hmm. And this this you, you can tell this is <coughs> whether he, he whether he does the, those that like, he, he was in the right to kill those guys or not, yeah. I don't know what the laws are, bro. Like it's, and I don't I wasn't there and all that stuff, yeah, but it's just, you can tell. Uh, who is it that, was it Trayvon Martin that got killed for having, wearing a hoodie, bruv? He got shot down by police for wearing a hoodie. You, know, you just look at it, you think. Bro, to be honest, there's so many. <laughs> what about those, those guys in the, 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 that killed the, the jogger, bruv? The, 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 the dad and the, and, the, and the son. What what happened to them, bruv? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just shot the guy, bruv, for running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruv, 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 there's too many. It's mad, bruv. There's too many for you to, to, to know. <laughs> There's some with the, they don't even come to our attention, bro. The worst thing is, it's like you're kind of not surprised. You kind of knew that, but this is shocking, though. The fact that he got quitted on all charges. Yeah. That's mad, bro. Like he got off scot free. It's just one justice for one, one justice for another. Let's not depress ourselves. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> in other news. Hamzat Chimaev had a wrestling match with uh, some 
Swedish guy. But do you know what the background is to, to this guy, Jim, Jack Hermansen? What's his What's his background, bro? Oh, he's a he's a he's a re, he's a wrestler. Um, he's a UFC fighter as well. Yeah, yeah. But what's it? Why are you printing it, bro? bro? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> loud, bro. go down, go down. But what's his background, though, Jack? Uh, Mixed martial arts. Yeah, yeah. But what's his? Uh, go to his wiki. He's Swedish as well. Yeah. Well done. Uh, it's a career as a Greco Romanist. Okay. So, what's his pedigree, bro? Won national championships. In Sweden? In wrestling. Okay. So, his MMA thing, 22 wins, six losses. Not bad. What is he, middleweight? No idea. Is he in the UFC? He's not in the UFC, is he? Yeah, it says UFC contender. Oh, yeah, he is. I've never heard of him, man. Me neither. Scheduled to face it. Put, put um, I put Chimaya, uh, uh, UFC. Uh, put uh, his wiki. <clears throat> he hates being compared to Habib, bro. Yeah, but I, I, can, thing, I can, but though, I can right? imagine it's being it's annoying though. But it's not. It's not like nice. No, like I got a beard. I've I've got that haircut. Do you get me? Uh, I'm from that kind yeah. of uh, area. <laughs> it's completely different, bro. How tall is he, bro? They even ask Islam that. 6'2". Right, he's tall, man. He's your height, Zach. Yeah. He's tall, man. Two. 77 kg. That's how much you should be weighing, Zach, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? That's, that's, he's I knew you were going that's there. That's how much you should be weighing, bro. <laughs> I thought you were going there, bro. But that's your it. target weight, bro. To be I fair, that's it. how much I should be weighing, bro. Oh, he's a blue yeah. belt, yeah? Yeah, blue that's belt, jokes, but that's jokes. but blue belt, but there's I think blue belt and blue belt. Bro. Yeah, I think he's a good blue belt though. Let's just say, <laughs> let's just put it this way: he he enters grappling industries. He smokes every blue belt in there, bro. So it must be like belt. a purple belt, or brown belt, then. Nah, I think I think no, no. What I'm saying is, he's probably just like what's his background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he he's actually, probably brave. He only uh, got combat. blue belt recently as well, or something. That's I think he's the same as uh, Habibi. I think he did. Uh, Sambo, I think, bro. What's the come from, bro? What's his uh or oh, wrestling? Nah, he's a freestyle wrestler and judo and combat sambo, yeah. Yeah, so sambo. But if you if you do sambo, you're technically a brown belt, bro. Judo, sambo, wrestling. He competed in wrestling though, like yeah, yeah his his main thing is wrestling, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely could have been an Olympian, probably, man. So what what's nah, that? What, what I was when I was speaking, who you know, Coach Estime. Yeah. He was saying to me that you got wrestling mm. is the top in Russia, bro. Yeah. Like amongst the Daggies and the Chechnyans yeah. and stuff, yeah? You got wrestling, you start there, bro. Yeah? If you don't if you don't cut out for wrestling, bro, you go to judo mm. and, and, and sambo and stuff. And then if and then they go into MMA, bro. Do you get me? But mm. wrestling for, for them is the number one. There, there's no like if you're a top wrestler, dude, you've got the utmost respect. MMA is not as respected as That's like yeah. as wrestling. Oh. Yeah, so the life's like the they cheating like yeah, <laughs> bro. He's a king over there, bro. He's a king over there, bro. Do you see what I'm saying? No one's yeah. touched, but wrestling for them is like a is how do I put top, this? It's like Ronaldo. No, like how do you put it, man? Yeah, like a Ronaldo in the football industry. No, no, no. I'm saying as a sport, wrestling as a sport. In oh, that, in wrestling uh, as a sport. So it would be like, like bad, uh, yeah, like no badminton huh? for for China, bro. Now you're just shooting in the dark, bro. <laughs> I guess America, like NFL or Ping whatever, bro. For Do you get me? Pong. Badminton for Bengalis. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's the number one sport in Bangladesh at the moment, bro? Like cricket. Cricket's the number one, yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah. Is badminton up? There, well, where do you rank in cricket, bro? Bangladesh. Are they quite like top ten? Yeah, right. Yeah. Would you say top 10? I don't know. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Why am I, who am I, why am I asking you for? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but what was I saying? Um, yeah, yeah, so so, so what, what Esme was saying was, he goes, wrestling is number one. Then judo and, and sambo and everything else. He goes, if you don't make it in wrestling, so the wrestlers get the most props there, bro. Do you see what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. um, so what's this about, though? Why, why all so, of a sudden he's wrestling? 
I think he just fought in it. Yeah, yeah. But has he ever finished a fight, bro? What do you mean? Has it has it has it has, has his fights ever gone the Four. full? No, no, has he ever had a decision? First round. first round, he's finished all of them. But in his whole MMA career, oh, he's had ten wins, six by knockouts, four by submission. So clearly, no, no, no. <laughs> everything's gone. One second, he's no had no decisions. <laughs> no, he must have. Yeah, do the maths. No decisions. Let's bro. do the maths. Here. Come Let's on, come on. Total, six how many four fights? is ten. <laughs> One second, how many fights did he have? Ten. He's only had ten MMA fights. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He had six by ten. knockout. Four yeah, by submission. Yeah, that's 10. So, 10. But, but is that all? Is that UFC <laughs> or mixed martial arts in general, bro? Go, read out the mixed martial arts. You might have. I can't read this too. Zoom in. Well, Chimaev have started training MMA when he was 23. All star training center. September and April, Chimaev had three MMA fights, amateur ones. Uh, so he only he fought defeated three by amateur. submission in the second round. He defeat. He got defeated. No, he defeated the guy. Okay, uh, and then won his following two amateur fights: one by submission, one by technical knockout. So yeah, even in amateur, he didn't go yeah, all the way. He's, he's undefeated amateur. Yeah. Okay, oh, so then he fought with Brave. Brave is uh, from Dubai, isn't it? Mm. Is Brave from Dubai? I'm pretty sure. Go read, read the Brave bit. After having his first two professional fights in Sweden, he went to the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Dubai, I'm not sure. Many, Click yeah, yeah. Brave. What is that? Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. I'm pretty sure that's Dubai, bro. <laughs> Must be. Or bro. UAE or something. Yeah, yeah. Where is this? Bahrain. Oh, Bahrain. Oh, Bahrain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got good fighters there. I don't know, bro. Yeah, they got decent fighters, man. Are, are they like a feeder club for UFC, bro? Or they're not they're not affiliated like that? Uh, Brave, like how um, LFA is, and they have. I think I'm not sure if any fighters have come up from. No, but you know, like there's some there's some promotions like Cage Warriors, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, don't, no, they, they don't. They're like, yeah. they're like a feed yeah, yeah, feed, feed organization, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so but he hasn't even had that many MMA fights. If you, yeah. but what well, what's the deal here though? Why why? But he had a wrestling fight. Oh, but yeah. watch, watch the highlight video, bro. Yeah, the the yeah. way in he looks huge, bro. Yeah, yeah. Eight minutes. Oh, One second, stop there. Stop there. The stop, they stop. started already. Stop. 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 Why? Why is there? Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Why is everybody smoking? Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. First, check this out, bro. Yeah. Hey, he's like, okay. That's my boy. <laughs> okay, let's break this down. What is going on here, bro? Bro, oh bro why is it it's so the smoky? Event. What the hell's going on? Someone's <laughs> vaping or something. No, no, bro. They just done the walking. This is a proper underground. This thing. is it's proper backstreet thing, bro. Go play it. But are you allowed, though? What? Does he have to get signed off by Dana saying. Yeah, Dana has to sign him off, bro. 100%. Okay. Yeah, 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 you can't, bro. <laughs> I was quite Wait, watch, watch. That. But is, the, yeah, is it yeah, foggy? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Well, Diet Bruce Buffer, yeah, <laughs> he, he, was, he was training the whole time for this, bro. Diet Bruce Buffer. <laughs> Bruce <laughs> Buffer light. Bruce Buffer light, yeah. Bruce <laughs> oh he my had God. that one thing to do, bro. Look, nah, bro, we're resting now. Oh, the guy now. hasn't the, even finished. Like, <laughs> he's not even... But there's no. another man in the ring oh as well. Gosh. Why are all the cameramen in there as <laughs> yeah, well? And this guy mean? dressed up real good as well, bro. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> fresh. Play, play, play through. Bro, they you know what? He stopped. He said, This is the main. And then he's like, You know what? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> bro, everyone's backing out from the cage. Like, oh, wow. What? Why what go with the cameraman? Camera work is. Uh... Oh, the commentary is so wet. He's ripping on Jack's face. <laughs> he's got to stand them up now. Yeah. Nice. Is this guy a good wrestler, though? This uh, Jack guy. He's a Greco guy who fought nationals, bro. Then he just. They're having a laugh, though. This is not real. I don't think this is. I think it's charity. No, nah, this is real, bro. But like, you don't wrestle as a joke, bro. No, but I think it's a charity thing. KFC. No, no, it's an <laughs> exhibition match, bro. Who's this thing? Who's this? 
there's nothing to what do. What is going on with the comment? You know, if, I was, if I was fighting, yeah, I'd be like, I'll, I'll stop. Everybody stop. Bro. Shit. Can you, can you go, please? Please, stop talking. <laughs> Play it. Over tight, he's going to throw him now. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. De some grip. Double under. Oh, again. That's a pin. No, 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 it's not. That's a good duck under, though, bro. Is it in America, yeah? Sweden. Oh, you went to Sweden, did I'm pretty sure it's in Sweden, bro. This, this guy, I think he just wants to fight. Anyway, we've got it, fold it, fold it. Fold it. You should have put the highlight video on. You said all these. But, but we would have missed, we would have missed bro. that beginning bit, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's <true. laughs> bro, that's B Tech filming, bro. This cameraman this, no, no, just no, came from someone, a degree. No, 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 this is someone. No, this can't be the official thing. Bro! No, this How are they this close to the thing? This is official, bro. Mashallah is a big guy, though. So what? Is it. What, what, <laughs> just threw him a towel. <laughs> someone give you a towel. What is this? Bro, no COVID bro? rules. No, no scandal. Manscaped are all over the place, bro. They're, 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 they're sponsoring even in everyone, this. bro. They're sponsoring everyone, bro. BFN, BFN. So they, they, let's check BFN, bro. What is BFN? BFN. Bro, you know you're going to get so many... Um, just uh, type in BFN. Just like that, you know. BFN wrestling. Oh, no, it's MMA. No, it's, it's wrestling, bro. Well, that was a wrestling fight. Yeah, but it was an MMA cage. Oh, bro, you ain't gonna find it. Yeah, Bulldog bro. fight night. There we go. Hey, look. I, I think it was like a. Go Who was on the card? Gothenburg. Who was on the card? Freestyle. Yeah. Uh, this guy Nico. They had boxing as well. Or oh, Thai boxing. MMA. David Jacobson. I don't know who who these guys, bro. Nazim, bro, that Nazim the Kazim. way they started, bro. That was hilarious, bro. Bro, so this is bro, a known play it thing. again, bro. Play it again, please. But bro. is this a the known beginning. thing now? <laughs> play it again. Play the beginning. Oh my god! Just that bit, bro. Just, just that bit. This is better than the whole fight. Cause I, listen to the commentator. Whoa. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> rewind it. Rewind it. Oh my god! Rewind it, bro. You know he's thinking. Look, look he's thinking. thinking. Yeah, he's oh. thinking. <laughs> I dressed up for you, man. <laughs> And you started without me? Go and play. <laughs> Look, event of the evening. Oh, let's go. And then... Oh, okay. <laughs> right, I need to get out of this ring. The door's on the other side as well. You know, even the, the cameraman. cameraman. <laughs> back here. The cameraman are getting out. Oh, it's but, bro, out. the door's on the other side. How is bro, it getting out? the timer hasn't even started. Look. <laughs> cameraman. The cameraman's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> bro, that's 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 OG. That's some OG like, things, bro. Bun you, bro. Let's yeah, just start wrestling, man. <laughs> this is long. He probably said, "Listen, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. I got a reservation at Nusrat, bro. <laughs> exactly. Hamza's waiting for me, bro. I don't Hamza. What's his name? That's Bulon's waiting for you, bro. <laughs> oh man, Wait, make his peace. <clears throat> Let's end on this, man. Who's that, man? Ollie's out, bro. Oh man, Ollie's out. Fresh out. <sighs> I feel bad, but at the same time, it was inevitable. It was gonna. I happen. don't know how I feel about it, bro. You know what? I think Man United need to have a Man United guy in there, but there's no one. Do you know what I'm saying? Who do you think they're gonna replace him with? They say uh, no one this season. They say Zidane is very, very heavily. Um, Did they use quotation marks? Where it says I don't heavily? know, bro. I don't know. But it was on here. But if they do get him, I don't know, man. Zidane hasn't really proved himself, man. We're talking about, bro. But wait, wait. Three for it. Champions League. Wait for it. Go on. He already had a world class team. Yeah, but bef who is before him? He's never had a team that he started from. Eh. Do you know what I mean? Bro, 
Like 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 West Ham. I don't know why Dave Moyes is doing good with West Ham, but Man United just couldn't. Why do you think that, bro? You know, I love how you ask me these questions like I'm a pundit, bro. But ah, so you just your who was before it? Moyes? It was Van Gaal, innit? No one cares about my opinion about Man United, bro. Well, I care. No, nah, you don't, bro. I really don't. Moyes was after Van Gaal, innit? I know Van Gaal's reign was a bit. Do you see me say? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Man United is not a f- managing a football club, bro. What's gonna happen, man? But you know what it is he did his job. I think you know in that period. He got Man United th- believing themselves again, bro. Yeah, but how do you fix that issue, though? What? How do you fix that issue? Because they're having manager after manager after manager. Well, this is the modern game now, bro. It's the modern game. I think after Ferguson... He's the last of the long... Him yeah, and, yeah. Him and, him and Wenger. Yeah. It's there the was no one game. after that. You know, like, for example, in America, yeah, like you've got, like, football team. Uh, you know, American football teams. Mm. You've got... Because... There's, you know, like in um, who, like Newcastle, they've got a director of football now, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's the, what does the director of football do? I'm pretty sure he he, he buys players. Yeah, they, he he basically sorts out the players, and then there's the coach, which is like um, it's like Moneyball. Have you seen Moneyball? With yeah. Brad Pitt. Yeah. He's like he's like the director. Yeah. And then there's the he's, coach. Yeah. That exactly, picks the bro. players. But no, that goes to training. That yeah, yeah. he trains the players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's the continental style, isn't it? Like Barcelona, all those guys. So that's come over to the UK. And I don't know. Does United have a director of football? I'm pretty sure they do, bro. Probably. I think they're trying to you know Darren Fletcher, bro. Yeah. I think he's being prepared, bro. Or, yeah, maybe him. Because everyone's Carrick as well. Carrick as well. Oh, so they, they, I think Man United eventually, long term. <coughs> they oh wanna... yeah, Darren Fletcher is staying on as the club's technical yeah. director. But I've got a feeling like you know you got Ryan Giggs. I don't know what's Ryan Giggs doing. Now? Is he still with Wales? He's probably. I don't know. But anyway, so I think United they want a, a Man United guy in there, bro. Maybe you know how Ajax, you know Ajax, bro. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know how it is now. But back in the day, they they would only have Ajax people in there, bro. Like. Van Basten, you had all these um, managers. Now they've got. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a is a is an Ajax guy. So I but think that's what they want. Man. Huh? Who Ajax? No, no, Man United. Yeah, bro. But I think they're better. They're like think about was it before? It was Mourinho, innit? it? But Mourinho won something, bro. What Community Shield or what? What do you? No, no, he won the FA Cup, bro, or something, didn't he? Mm, no, nah. Europa, Europa Cup. Yeah. Yeah, he won. He, bruv, he's a winner, bruv, that guy. He he won, Europa League, yeah, Europa League, bro. Yeah, he must have won Europa League, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't want, I I don't want him, Man bro. United to be another Tottenham, bro. I feel for him, though, bro. Managers every five minutes, bruv. Oli's a legend, bro. And he might have got this job a bit too soon. Yeah. Who knows? What, the, what, what are we talking about? Who knows? Gerard's, Gerard's doing good, though, bro. He's Aston Villa now, isn't it? Good, bro. Yeah. Well, he done good for Rangers. Yeah. But yeah, it's sad for this guy, man. What would you say Scottish League is like championship, bro? Scottish League is like the championship. Kind of deep, bro. No, 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 it is, bro. I think they only got like three teams there or something. No, you got Rangers and, 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 and Celtic. And then that's it, bro. And then you've got like Aberdeen or whatever. I think... Uh... Be honest, bro. I don't think I have ever watched Scottish, Scottish game. I remember back in the day, you know, Rangers and Celtic. It was big rivalry. Watching, yeah, watching that old firm game, bro. And they had big players, bro. Van Bronco. You know, like they had like, even Gattuso played for them, bro. Rangers. Oh, this is championship. Premier League. The, uh, no, <laughs> women's. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Rangers Celtic, Heart of what? Heart of Midlothian, I don't know, bro. Dundee United. Mark yeah, they only got 12, 12 teams, bro. Yeah. Bro, they're like, it's like, champ- I mean, apart from Rangers, Rangers would be a mid-table team and maybe like mid to low-table team in, in the Premier League. Who knows, bro? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, anyway, man. good pod, bro. <clears throat> Imran? Anything to add? What's the plan for this week, bro? 
Back to training? He's going to hibernate. Yeah, yeah. How's your ribs, bro? Yeah, they're not. Is it still popped out? No, it's, yeah, it's still sticks out a little bit, but. Yeah. What about you? When you back at training? Bro, right now. No, 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 no. Why are you not training, bro? But I just told you right now, what? I've got that problem in my, my neck, bro. Bro, everyone's got neck problems. <laughs> so you don't just stop in it. Well, I can't this. bloody train if I got neck problem. You What's don't the know problem? How severe it is. Very severe, bro. But you look fine, bro. For you, go go. Show me, show me, show me. How can I more. show you? It's inside. Do, do this. I can't. Jeez. I can't do no, that. No, come on, just do a little. But I can't. Let's just say if I'm taking a right onto a road, I have to move my body. I can't <laughs> just, just get, get rubbed down, isn't it, bro? I tried, man. I went yesterday. I got rubbed down. Shout out hijama medic and that. But no, no, it's work, called man. it's called Recover Clinic now, bro. <laughs> sorry, sorry, on, bro. He's uh, he's rebranded, bro. Oh, was it? Sorry, yeah. man. Recover Clinic. He he he's Did he do hijama? Me out. Yeah. No, he didn't do hijab. He did, um, you know, that suction thing. Massage Dry copping. Yeah, yeah, he massaged me. Took out as many knots as he could. Has he got better, a little bit? Yeah, yeah but he did multiple did. sessions. And then I though. went home. And then... Uh, bro, Why did you paint your waist, man, bro? Yeah, I had to, man. He's going to paint for me, bro. You should have told me I'll send the boys to paint, paint, paint your house. <laughs> nah, man, that's deep, but They have competition, bro. Now pay them, innit? <laughs> They'll do it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for listening. And I enjoyed this podcast. Hopefully, we will see you on the next one. Watch out for our clips. We're going to be releasing clips weekly. And if you've got to the end of the podcast, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.